Hello again, it's Will with My Media Museum. Glad to have you with us for part 11 of our A to Z 45 RPM vinyl records collection here at the museum. And we're starting off with an original Chess Records version of Chuck Berry and his combos. Maybelline, why can't you be true? Oh, Maybelline, wee wee hours on the B side. Now, what's really surprising me today is that I had uh, Johnny B. Good that I bought at Sears when, back in the day when Sears sold 45s. I remember it clearly, even though I was probably only 10 or 11 when I bought it. And no, it would have been a reissue at that time even. But it was on this kind of a label right here with the chest, you know, going up and down. Um, this is rock and roll music, Chuck Berry. Obviously not my original. Um, Thomas somebody here felt the need to scribble all over his copy. And the beast out of that was Blue Feeling. But getting back to what I was saying, um, my um, Johnny B. Good copy is not here. Now, I have filmed other copies of Johnny B. Good that were in the mixed copies boxes, but I know for sure that I had one in this original A to Z, so it's probably another one that got snagged out of my collection while it was sitting in my mother's garage while I was relocating <laughs> in my early days, trying to find a place where I wanted to live the rest of my days. So, unfortunately, I don't have that Chuck Berry um, Johnny B. Good to show you right now. I think it had rock and roll music on the B side. Like I said, it was clearly a reissue, but I bought it brand new at Sears on the top floor <laughs> back in the day when they had a music department many, many years ago. Uh, so, moving on, we've got The Clash doing London Calling. And that's one of those beautiful silver ones that are hard to see. And you, you got that wear that isn't really wear, which I'm guessing is glue. Um, kind of like the Activision games on Atari. Uh, the glue makes them all look terrible now. No matter you buy it brand new out of box owned up, it's gonna, the label's going to look bad because of the glue that was used decades ago. Uh, B-side of this Clash 45 has Train in Vain, Stand By Me which is another well-known song of theirs. And next up, we've got probably one of their best-known songs, and many of us, I'm sure, remember them playing it on Saturday Night Live, Rock the Cash Bar. I think that was the first time I ever seen The Clash, actually, was singing Rock the Cash Bar on Saturday Night Live, uh, which used to be must-see must TV, uh, but not so much for me anymore. Uh, B-side of this being Long Time Jerk, which isn't a song of theirs that uh, I could actually say I'm familiar with. But uh, everybody knows Rock the Cash Bar. Cherie don't like it. What you gonna do? Somebody uh, tagged their sleeve to keep it with their record, which is always a good idea, I suppose. Um, this was Climax doing Precious and Few. You can see it's a flashback record, so this is clearly a reissued version of the song. Uh, I do have an original that's already been filmed and posted up in one of the Mixed Boxes videos. And the B-side of this flashback version is Life and Breath, which is not one I recognize by the title. Um, maybe if we put it on, because usually the flashbacks are double A sides. Um, not always, but um, usually they do try to put uh, two known songs on there. Now we got an interesting sleeve. We're going to have to take a little bit of time here to get this sleeve, you know, a good once over. Uh, Edie Gourmet and Steve Lawrence. It's really not my kind of thing. Highwaymen, West Side Story. A little, a little bit more along the line of what the wife would like. Uh, some of these people I don't even know. I've heard of Edie Gourmet. Uh, I've definitely heard of the Highwaymen as well. But the vinyl that we're finding in here is the Clover's version of Love Potion Number no. 9. Which is a great film, by the way, if you like Sandra Bullock. It was one of her earliest films that the wife and I saw, and one of our favorites. We really like it. Sure, it's silly, but that's the kind of movies we like, the fun, silly, you know, comedies. Uh, and the B-side of this one would be Stay a While. Now, you'll notice it's a Silver Spotlight series, so no, this is not an original. Um, I don't know if Stay a While was originally the B-side on their Love Potion Number no. 9 release or not. 
But anytime you've got a spotlight series, a flashback, they're dead giveaways that you've got a reissue on your hand, uh, which isn't, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes the reissues were, were cut better, remixed, um, remastered. Um, they, they did do um, a lot of work um, over the years on different 45 releases, um, different companies pressing them at different times from different masters. Uh, but here we've got Charlie Brown, do 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 Charlie Brown, by, by the Coasters, who's uh, most famous to me for Yakety Yak, which we'll get to in a minute, because I always got a Yakety Yak in just about every stack. Uh, and it was somebody's number one album, whether it was their favorite one or the first one they got, we'll never know. But the B-side of this is interesting, because it's got three cool cats, which you might remember is one of the five songs that the Beatles um, played in their original Decca edition, um, and you can hear that now. I believe it's on Anthology, but yeah, the Beatles actually did a uh, cover of Three Cool Cats too. Not one of their final, mo not one of their finer, finer moments. There we go. I got it out. <laughs> but it is uh, not a horrible song either. This is a nice, interesting London sleeve. Um, don't really uh, remember having ran across this one before. Both uh, sides seem to be the same, and it's actually got a London American Recordings record in it. Uh, I love that, American Recordings Made in England. <laughs> but it's the coasters doing Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy. I'm a hog for you, baby, being on the B-side. I like this one, though. It's recorded by Atco, New York, but made in England. <laughs> uh, first published in 1959, so that's that's going back farther than I would have guessed. Um, both sides actually say 1959, so Poison Ivy by the Coasters. Uh, I would have guessed 60s, but 59 is pretty gosh darn close to uh, 60s. Might as well have been. Uh, and here we've got the yakety yak, do 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 do, don't talk smack, do 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 do. Really fun song. Uh, I'd have to classify that as bubblegum. Um, but yeah, it's hard to um, see this song or hear this song anymore and not think of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito and twins. <laughs> I mean, singing yakety yak. You want to hear Arnold sing yakety yak? There's where you can find it in the movie Twins. And uh, the B side of this, zing went the hearts of my, whoop, zing went the strings of my heart. <laughs> the hearts of my strings, yeah. <laughs> okay, getting a little dyslexic today. Get my act together. All right, I'm actually in a really good mood today. I hit 300 subs today. Thank you, thank you very much, people. It, it's nice to be appreciated. I'm glad that there are people out there who are enjoying the channel and taking interest in it. Um, appreciate it. Appreciate any thumbs up you feel like giving me as well. Those are always, always encouraging. But yeah, I hit 300 today, six months. Not too bad from what people are telling me. All right, so here we've got Hot Rod Lincoln by Commander Cody and his Lost Planet Airmen. I absolutely love this song. Even though it could be called Borderline Country, it's still a little more comedy to me, comedy country. But uh, boy, you're going to drive me to drinking if you don't stop driving that Hot Rod Lincoln. My home in my hand being on the B side of that. And I'm not sure if that's the same one that Foghat did. Home in my hand. Got my home in my hand. Which he's talking about a suitcase. If you don't know what a home in your hand is, that's a suitcase. And uh, that's a common phrase for traveling salesmen and, and other people that live on the road to uh, call, call the suitcase their home. <laughs> home in my hand. So, anyways, like I said, I don't know if that's the same song or not, but that's what it brings to my mind, being a big um, Foghat fan from back in the day. Rock and roll. Corey Hart doing I Wear My Sunglasses at Night. Don't know if he ever had another big song or not, but I definitely uh, know that one. And uh, At The Dance being on the B side of this one, going back to 83, so been a few years for that one and next up we've got a couple uh different ones here uh this one's interesting because this is the original uh soundtrack music from the motion picture billy jack 
and 110 Soldier, The Legend of Billy Jack, sung by Coven. So this is clearly reissued because 110 Soldier, I do believe, came out before Billy Jack, and it was used as the theme song and therefore retitled as The Legend of Billy Jack. Um, I'm pretty darn sure, I'm not 100% positive, but I do believe that it was a song before it was used in the movie and this would have been a rebranding uh, now you'll notice this is also from the motion picture soundtrack but it's uh, Johnny sung by Teresa Kelly so it's not coming on both sides of this vinyl uh, only on the one side but you'll see I've got another very very similar looking one with a lot of the same printing but it's also a back-to-back -back hits uh, it's almost like they just stamped that on there. So you get the snake and the sun and the back to bats hits added to the label. And uh, it's still uh, subtitled The Legend of Billy Jack and sung by Coven. I do have copies of this that just say 110 Soldier Coven. Um, so I think they were earlier and um, more original than this one. Um, but the B side of this is uh, Say Goodbye Because You're Leaving which I believe is also a song by Coven. It doesn't note it as being by someone else, uh, like the previous vinyl did. So I would have to say that that song must also have been another Coven song off of the Billy Jack soundtrack. So, um, I want to save this next one to be the first one of the next video. Well, maybe we'll just go ahead and throw it in here. What the heck? Because we've got a big stack of CCRs that's going to start the next series out. So here we've got Ernie doing Sunshine of Your Love. Da -da 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 -dun 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 -dun. Ah, you know, everybody knows that was woo, cream. And uh, the B side of that was S-W-L-A-B-R. I don't know if you pronounce that some way or not, but uh, I don't. It's just S-W-L-A-B-R to me, and I'm not sure what that stands for either. But um, this is one of those, you know, like Braille super glued on there. I actually tried to peel it off, and it's not going to come off the earth without destroying the label. So, Ernie, thanks for the sunshine of your love. We appreciate it. See you next time. Have a great day.